I had an idea today. So I raided Dollar Store. I am gonna make some scent deploying things for my VR fun, for my virtual reality. And what I'm gonna do is use these containers and hopefully put some cotton balls in them. And then I'm gonna try different scented oils. Um, hopefully like things like outside like grass and wood and metal and gunpowder and stuff like that i found some on etsy already that i think will work but this is all from my local one of my local dollar stores they have all these kind of hippie <laughs> strange uh labeled scents but I'm thinking the earth ones and wood ones, I'm gonna give them a sniff and see. But the total for the whole darn thing was 65 bucks and I also got a few other things I needed for the house, like more super glue for my roof tank and whatnot, but uh, all kinds of these. Here, I'll get them out. Okay, uh, Christmas pine berries, wood, earth, woody sage and sea salt, sandalwood, metal, fire, and water. And I'm thinking I should be able to use these condiment containers and they should work good. If not, I'll use these little mini ones or these and I'll just pop the caps. I have five little muffin fans. Well, you'll see, we'll build it. Well, the parts are here for my next quadcopter now. Finally got the frames arrived. These are all the TPU pieces I printed and the uh, camera mount I printed. So what I do, is I assemble these little kits in these bins for at a later date, I'll build this quad. And that way I know I have all the equipment, uh, probably the next snow flies. So here's the electronic speed controls, uh, a nano receiver, uh, the JB edition run cam and Emacs motors. So pretty cool. I'll put this on the shelf and that way it's like a little Christmas present to myself. Uh, over here you can see I have previous ones, like I still have the Black Ops Talon to build, and that's a complete uh, electronic system, including the F722 wing, all ready to go, and uh, just need to find the time to make these things. But that way, uh, while the getting is good, this stuff just keeps going up in price, so I've been piecing this one together for about three months. Been at the bench today, designing and sketching out the plans for my scent diffuser i forget what did i have a, it's just scent vr i think i'm gonna call it but basically i think this is going to be the layout i'm going to settle with these 30 millimeter fans i'm going to 3d print caps right on them set these down through circuit board is going to surround everything and these will plug right in and yeah i think this is going to work esp8266 or 32 whatever i've got probably i've got a bunch of 66s and we'll have a little web page and Write some code and yeah, this will be cool. Okay, I did the design today and now is the first draft of the case for my scent VR. This should perfectly hold the vials and it's going to live right down here and this fan's going to carry the scents right up to me while I'm playing in VR, which will be just perfect, I think. And I've already got the first campfire scent, and it smells exactly like campfire. So, burning things in game? Yep, I'm going to be able to smell them. Tonight's fun is to work on the scent VR a little bit. I decided to go with the ESP32. What I did is in 57, 58 minutes, I was able to get the OLED working with example code. Then I added a Wi-Fi manager, uh, or just did a Wi-Fi manager, and that worked. It sets it up as a Wi-Fi hotspot and then does the credentials for me. And then I added the two codes together. In 59 minutes, I now have this logged on to my Wi-Fi with a Wi-Fi manager page that works on my phone and the OLED. Another day, another little bit of fun with the Scent VR project. I've been writing the code for the web page and OLED and everything, and I got to this point. If we unplug our ESP32 and plug it back in, on boot we get a nifty little splash screen for the Scent VR, and then immediately it gets on the Wi-Fi and gets assigned an IP address of which I can go 
they get a nifty little web page. I don't have anything on it yet, but it'll display the status of the fans and stuff. So um, that's with the Wi-Fi manager so that it pops up and you're able to configure it with your phone. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with this coming along. Quite a little bit further with this project. So the OLED still displays the IP address of the ESP32 on my network, but now the web page allows me to control two banks of the fans, uh, one through three and four through six. So if the user wants to split the banks in half and turn them on or off, but the cool thing is they can do this from within VR through the browser. When this is on the network, all you do is just navigate to this IP and turn things on or off. Crisp fall morning. This week on Facebook, the shop that I deal with was selling out their old gear and he was selling out his old mentor. This is up to date to about 2011 or maybe newer. I got it for 150 bucks and has brand new OTC scope module with it. I don't know the specs on the scope. I've got USB scopes, but got an ignition probe and uh, yeah, can't go wrong really. But yeah, this has the TPMS that I need to figure out what's wrong on my CRV. So score.